Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through how to solve the scene assembler by using three pick and place arms and six clampers with reusable function blocks. Let's check out the programming. This is the function block I made for the clamper. Let's open it and see how I programmed it. I made a sequence with four steps to automate the clamper. The first rung is to start the whole sequence. Once the lid at place sensor gets occupied, the sequence will start and hold itself. And it will do so until sequence is done. In step one, the clamper will clamp the lid until the clamp lid sensor gets occupied. In step two, the clamper will get resetted until the clamp lid sensor gets free. Then it will wait for the two axis picker arm to pulse out its signal that it's done before it moves on to the next step. If you are interested in how the function block is programmed for the two axis picker, you can watch my previous video. In step three, the clamper will raise itself and do so for three seconds before going to the next step. Step four is the last step and it will make the sequence done. It will pulse out a signal to let the sequence reset itself. I added the sequence done signal as an output in case I want to use it for other time. But for this one, I will just leave it empty. I can reuse my function block for each clamper as I like. Here for example, I used it for the third base clamper. The only difference is that I need to add the correct input and outputs. This is the function block I made for the bases conveyor. And I used the same function block for the lids conveyor. Let's open up the block and see how it's programmed. As you can see it's a very simple block I made. To make the base's conveyor start, we either need to spawn a base, or when the clamp arrays itself. And to stop the base's conveyor, it either need to pass the base at place sensor, or when it passed the stop base's conveyor sensor. To make the lid's conveyor start, we need to spawn a lid. And since it only need to start once we leave it like that. Then to make it stop it need to pass by the lid at place sensor. In my main program, I added all the function blocks needed. I added all tags for all three pairs of assemblers. Now that we are ready, let's start the scene and monitor it from TIA Portal. Mm hmm. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.